It affects her too. It affected the students. One woman I spoke with wanted to remain anonymous, but tells me her niece waited outside for two hours Thursday morning for a bus that never came. They had no yeah. regard for the students, in my opinion, when it came to it. She stayed home. I don't have transportation. My husband and I are both disabled, and we rely on her getting back and forth with the bus. That's because several drivers started a one-day strike Thursday, refusing to get behind the wheel over the threat of parents putting both their work and their well-being in danger. Superintendent Ray Rogers tells me these high tensions stem from an ongoing driver shortage and confirms the district was down five different drivers on the day of the altercation. And that means that the times Hi, picking up you. and oh, times delivering is, huh. is off. So that causes problems and parents sitting there waiting on their kids, you know, don't know all the situations that's going on. Rogers is now vowing to add more bus monitors to defuse heated situations like these in the future and is asking for parents and students patience as the district works through the shortage. We all just need to work together to make for the safety of uh, all the kids and our bus drivers because they're very important. We try and to make sure we got some things in place to, to make sure both of those are covered. And for the woman I spoke to, all that matters is her niece making it to class. She yeah. might be picked up later or earlier or dropped off later, which I'm understanding with that, you know, they can't help what happened. As uh, long as she gets picked up and can go to school. Rogers tells me all of the striking drivers will be back tomorrow, but he's also encouraging anyone who is up for working with kids to sign up and join them. Meanwhile, we're still working tonight to confirm the name and the potential charges of the parent arrested, and we'll keep you posted when we get more information. Reporting live at the Alert Desk, Julia Richardson, WMBF News.